Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Curology Everyday Sunscreen SPF 30. This product retails for $18. So Curology is a brand that usually does custom skincare formulas. I've known of this brand for a long time. They've been around for a while, but they've recently released some pretty generalized skincare onto Target. I know that they usually focus on specialized skincare formulas, which I'm sure they still do, but I do like that they've included these easily accessible products to Target that you can incorporate in your skincare routine. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. This is a 100% physical or mineral based sunscreen and the highlight sunscreen filter in this is zinc oxide. To check out the full ingredient list make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. This sunscreen advertises itself to be friendly for acne prone skin which is a huge deal for a sunscreen. This is also a very affordable mineral sunscreen. Sunscreens can range anywhere from 15 to upwards of 40 or 50 dollars and so I am I'm glad that they have made this product very affordable. One of the big things that I'm looking for in this review is to test the acne prone claim to see if it does cause any acne. That is the biggest struggle that I deal with with sunscreens is clogging my pores and causing acne. And so I'm really hoping that this product won't do that. I also want to see what kind of finish it leaves because it could either leave a fairly matte finish or a hydrating finish. I don't want it to be too greasy, but I kind of want it to be a very balanced sunscreen. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins, so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I am in natural light right now so you can see how the white cast is of this product. There isn't really much of a white cast on me and I feel like it is a pretty sheer mineral sunscreen. I would be interested to see this on darker skin tones. This product is a fairly lightweight mineral sunscreen. The market for mineral SPF 30s are very oversaturated and so I really am looking at this product under a microscope to see if it is different from the other mineral SPF 30s I've tried. The really good thing about this product though is it is one of the most affordable mineral sunscreens that I have seen. So there it is. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a white cast at first, which is typical with most mineral sunscreens. But the more I rub it in, the more it becomes a little bit transparent. This has become one of my favorite mineral SPF 30s. My previous favorite, the Native Sunscreen, this one is just a little bit more sheer and a little bit more hydrating than the Native Sunscreen. And it's around the same price point, so I really enjoy it. So as you can see, it does leave just a little bit of a white cast at first. It usually does fade pretty quickly. And with this product, I haven't noticed that it's suffocating like some mineral sunscreens are. I haven't experienced any acne and I'm hoping that will continue to be true because that is how this product is advertised. It's definitely not a tacky sunscreen. It is a little bit dewy, nothing suffocating, nothing too heavy. The white cast does fade pretty quickly. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. To put it very simply, I really thought this was a solid mineral sunscreen. It has a great price point. It didn't clog my pores or cause any acne. And the white cast was very minimal on this product. Like I said before, I would be interested to see this on different skin tones. I understand why this product doesn't have a tint in it because it is a very simple product. It's a very affordable product. And honestly, it has become one of my favorite mineral SPF 30s just because of the price point. It has a great great feel to it. It's very hydrating, but yet not greasy and not suffocating. It doesn't leave a crazy film or texture on the skin that some sunscreens do, especially when they are mineral. It is just a little bit more of a hydrating sunscreen. I do feel like that any skin type could use it. I'm just not the biggest fan of mineral sunscreens, but if that is your preference and you like a mineral SPF 30, I feel like especially for the price point and if you have struggled with acne from other mineral sunscreens this would be a great option but anyway thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this make sure you subscribe because i post new videos every week and i will see you all in the next review